Jury hearing and seeing what survivors and first responders say happened inside the Pulse nightclub during the attack. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us live from outside the federal courthouse. And Mike, there was some very powerful testimony in court today. Incredible, Lisa. One of the first witnesses to take the stand for the government side uh, was a woman who survived the attack at Pulse. She said that while she was uh, trapped in the restroom, she pulled a dead body on top of her and played dead herself in hopes that Omar Mateen would not shoot her. During opening statements, Noor Salman's uh, attorney conceded that Omar Mateen committed an atrocity that morning, but they insist that the wife played no role in it. Hi there, this yes. is Orlando Police. Who am I speaking with, please? You're speaking with the person who pledged his allegiance to the Islamic State. As the trial of Noor Salman got underway, jurors heard the voice of her husband, Omar Mateen, as he spoke with a crisis negotiator during the standoff at Pulse nightclub. You, you have to tell America to stop bombing Syria and Iraq. In another audio recording that has not yet been released publicly, jurors hear a victim trapped in the nightclub restroom telling others to be quiet. There was whimpering, moans, heavy breathing, and then the sound of Mateen firing his handgun, more than a dozen shots shattering the silence. They had no cover. They were prey, Prosecutor James Mandolfo told jurors. He said none of the victims could have anticipated the attack. No one knew except Omar Mateen and his wife, Noor Salman, the prosecutor said. But during opening statements, defense attorney Linda Moreno painted Salman as a simple woman with a low IQ who was unaware of her husband's sinister plot. The defense pointed out that Mateen scoped out Walt Disney World and a different Orlando nightclub before attacking Pulse. Omar Mateen didn't know where he was going that night, the defense told jurors. And if he didn't know, how could Noor know? Now, one of the last things jurors saw before going home for the night uh, was some police body camera video. In one, you can see an officer hiding around a corner inside Pulse nightclub while fellow officers exchanged gunfire with Omar Mateen. In another one that was extremely powerful, it was a police officer riding in the back of a pickup truck with a wounded victim as they transported her from the Pulse nightclub to ORMC a few blocks away. In that video, the woman was coherent, but she was screaming, screaming, agonizing pain that surely had to have an impact on this jury. Matt and Lisa. All right, Mike DeForest live for us outside the federal courthouse. Thank you.